Hello, this is John N5ID. I'm outside on a beautiful fall day. It's windy. I hope that you can hear me okay in the wind. I wanted to go over the specs on this 17 meter mini Yagi that I just finished up. I've already had it up in the air 12 feet on a little tripod um, stand and it outperformed my full wave loop that's at 22 feet and in just a few minutes we're going to go in the shack and I'm going to show you how well it performs but what I want to do is is go over how I built the beam if you notice I'm going to get up close now if you notice on the beam I use these fishing poles they are B&W fishing poles that I found at the local fishing store. They're telescopic fiberglass fishing poles, 16 feet long, and they're approximately $16, $17 a piece. Uh, but there's also shooting star fishing poles, same length, and they're about $12 a piece, and I'm going to use them next time if we take a look at the beam you can tell that the boom is one inch PVC pipe in the middle of the boom I have a T connector and then I have my mask to fit into the rotor and it's just one inch PVC pipe this whole apparatus probably weighs about six pounds and then on the ends of the boom hopefully you can see it here these are what's called snap connectors and let me go over here you can see one end is open on the snap connector and you simply snap the elements in now the good news is these fishing poles a piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe fits perfectly inside those fishing poles. I push that pipe in there probably three or four inches on each pole and I put some super glue in there to hold it and it snaps perfectly into these three quarter inch snap connectors. By the way, I bought all of the PVC connectors at Lowe's and I bought the fishing poles at a local fishing store you can order them online also I had this dipole center connector laying around uh, it's a jet stream I've got several of them 13 14 dollars a piece at R&L Electronics now quickly let me go over with uh, how I built this beam from uh, from the middle of the beam, from the middle, out to the first coil and only coil is exactly 61 inches from the middle of the beam to the first winding on the loading coil. And I'll tell you how to make that loading coil in just a moment. This is the driven element and then from the last winding on the coil to the end of the beam is exactly 55 inches now you're going to use the same exact specs for the reflector but the reflector will be 61 inches long from the last winding on the loading coil to the end of the beam and these loading coils are simple to make it's simply 10 gauge wire from Lowe's and it's seven full turns you don't count the last uh, half turn or the first half turn in other words where you start your winding you don't count that turn you, you want to make full uh, seven complete turns around a piece of one and a quarter one and a quarter PVC pipe 
and that will give you a perfect loading coil for this beam. Now also you need to understand this, the loading coil on the driven element needs to be the exact same length from the middle of the beam on the reflector. That's why I said from the middle of the beam unto the first winding on the loading coil is 61 inches exactly. And folks, that you're going to see how good this beam works. I'm not going over everything. I'm just giving you a quick idea of how I built this beam. I've got maybe a hundred and twenty dollars in parts in this beam and it's really hard to find a 17 meter beam. There's a lot of 20, 15, 10 meter tri-band Yaggies. Of course a hex beam works very very well and you get 20 through 6 meters but I enjoy building antennas. This was a very simple project. Again about 120 bucks in the entire apparatus and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this beam up on my tripod 12 foot off the ground. I will show you real quickly this it's hard to see because of the sunlight this is a 17 meter full size Yagi built on the same principle as as this mini Yagi the difference is the mini Yagi uh, it's basically close to 10 feet uh, with a, on the elements with a 20 foot total wingspan and the full size Yagi is 13 feet on each element with a 26 foot wingspan and the reason I built this I want to play around with also building a 20 meter antenna and I need to take the full size Aggie down I've got some plans to make the boom more supportive it's starting to sag I used one and a quarter inch PVC for the boom on that and I need to uh, I need to shore that up some let's go inside and see how well this works. People make fun of my projects, a little fishing pole beam, the wire elements, but let's just see how well it performs against the loop. Well, I came in the shack and realized I forgot to tell you the boom length on the mini beam. The boom length is six feet. The boom length is six feet. And again, through my testing, I've determined I get about 18 to 20 dB of front to back. I have no idea what the gain is on this antenna. I can tell you my 17 meter full wave loop works very well. And this beam outperforms the 17 meter loop. I'm going to guess that it has um, at least four to five dB of gain over a dipole. We're going to switch back and forth between my full wave loop which is up at about 22 feet and this Yagi that I just built that's only up at 12 feet on a portable tripod setup. I'm listening to S51DX maybe SM51DX you hear him quite a bit on 17 meters and I'm just going to switch back and forth between the Yagi his audio is not the best it's got a lot of highs in it and it's a little harder to understand but I want to switch back and forth and show you how well the Yagi works So you dropped one off on the loop. Alpha Charlie 3, Mike Hotel. Alpha Charlie 3. Alpha Charlie 3, Mike Hotel. Alpha Charlie 3. Thank you very much. Five eight with me. Thank you. Roger. Roger, John. Who's about five eight here in Maryland uh, today? How'd you do in the contest? Thank you, Danny. That's the loop. Heads up, machine. That's the loop. Okay, buddy. Thanks a lot. Seven three. Bye bye. I'm sure. Five one ten. Mark X. 
on the way. Still on the loop. Kilo Delta Fort Bravo. Thank you, Thank you very much, Darrell. About 5H, 5 5H five five with me. Thank you. USB overall, but uh, we'll Where's the loop? Over. Even at 12 feet, the Yagi is outperforming the loop. That is amazing. That is simply amazing. 12 feet off the ground, a two element miniature Yagi with loading coils outperforming my full wave loop on 17 meters. I apologize for the roar in the background. My backup generator just kicked online. I wanted to show you the SWR plot. You can see here at the low end of the band, I'm at 1.0. And as I move up, the, the SWR does go up. So I'm just a little bit, tiny bit long on my elements. I'm probably going to trim about a quarter inch off the director and the reflector and that should make it perfect. Isn't this a great little project? A simple antenna to build, wind your own loading coils and you have a 17 meter miniature beam that the elements are approximately 10 to 10 and a half feet long on instead of a full wingspan and it outperforms a full wave loop and you can do all this for probably a hundred and twenty dollars i hope you enjoyed the video i ask that you subscribe to my channel i hope you have a wonderful day thank you and god bless